to Smart College. I am Ms. Vanita, lecturer from Faculty Health Sciences. Today, I would like to talk about how to properly lift items to avoid injury. Do you know lifting heavy items is one of the leading causes of injury in the workplace? In 2001, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that over 36% of injuries involving missed workdays were the result of shoulder and back injuries. Strains and sprains from lifting loads improperly or from carrying loads that are either too large or too heavy are common assets associated with manually moving materials. In this series, I would like to list to you all the steps to ensure proper lifting position and technique. Firstly, keep your wide base of support. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and one foot slightly ahead of the other. Secondly, squat down. Bending at the hips and knees only. If needed, put one knee to the floor and your other knee in front of you bend at the right angle. Thirdly, keep good posture. Look straight ahead and keep your back straight. Your chest out and your shoulder back. This helps keep your upper back straight while having a slight arc in your lower back. Fourthly, hold the load as close to your body as possible at the level of your belly button and slowly lift by straightening your hips and knees. You also need to remember things that you do not do during lifting items. First of all, do not attempt to lift by bending forward. Bend your hips and knees to squat down to your load. Keep it close to your body and straighten your legs to lift. Then, never lift a heavy object above shoulder level. Finally, Avoid turning or twisting your body while lifting or holding a heavy object. When employees use smart lifting practices, they are less likely to suffer from back sprains, muscle pulls, wrist injuries, elbow injuries, spinal injuries and other injuries caused by lifting heavy objects. Wherever you are, it's important to be safe. That's all from me today. Smart College, be smart, be different.